good with the tube, everybody. Good morning. Early. Just got my 10 hour break. What time is it? I'm Indiana. 19 international and I'm gonna put it up I had an international and I really liked it I hooked it up all the internationals come with a TV stand I mean a TV mount in the back it didn't, mine didn't have a refrigerator Diesel guy, honestly. So that's Freightliner wave. Oh, 
old school uh, Volvos or something like that. But I mean, I drove a Volvo, an older model, while I was with Western when they was returning it. So I guess somebody had quit and had that truck for a while. And what what I did was, and I was in training with um with Jason, my last, you know, before he got his new truck, we had to bring that truck to Nashville while they go sell that truck, and um he picked up his new equipment. So, so yeah, the Volvo's not that bad either, you know, but I said, oh, that, uh, it's tight. It's like, I want all the room. And Freightliners is the one that brings all the room. Even in the back, it's just, it, they did very spacious. Yeah, they, they spacious, man. Now, the International, like the condo in the back is pretty spacious too. It's not that bad, honestly. But the driving, the driving room in the front is kind of tight, you know? To me, you know, it's not that bad. I mean, the Freightliner seats are, are way more comfortable than the um, Internationals. Um, and, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Like I said, I haven't drove nothing else. I heard Kenworths are very comfortable. I heard the Peterbos are very comfortable. I would love to drive one. I'm hoping this company to have one. I think, um... One of the trucking companies that I go go to had so I want to say Henderson. Henderson wanted, wanted me to come over there. They called me yesterday, by the way. They had a pretty book. I'm, I'm interested in those people. I, I just like those trucks. I think they're very, I like the model of them, you know? I heard Packard's, Packard Motors not that great. Um, But if I wanted to buy my first truck, it probably would be either a Freightliner or a Peterbilt. Not the old school Peterbilt's with the, with the stacks and all that. You know what I'm talking about. The one that, the, I would get the model right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's five, maybe seven or something like that. Five. There's so many numbers. I get confused, you know? But, um, I really like those trucks, honestly. So, if I find a good deal on them, when I buy my truck, I'll, I'll be shopping around for that and, uh, and uh, freight lot. Um, and that's pretty much it. My, my truck preferences, man. Another thing too, when I do buy a, a new truck, I probably wouldn't even get one of these new models because of these, the technology that's on here. You know, you gotta, you kind of gotta be smarter with your decision making when you buy these trucks because all the safety and all these sensors and all this extra stuff that these new trucks carry, you know, things can happen that you're not running, trying to make money, you know. So I'll probably get an older model Freightliner, something that probably been um worked on a lot, whatever. Probably had a DD15 in it already. So I probably won't go long. No, nothing past 16, 16, 17, even maybe 18. The older model though, because they got them in 18s too. That's when they switched over to the new Freightliners. Cascadians, you know what I'm saying? So, that's where I'm at with the trucks, man. But I don't have nothing bad to really say about international. They're just not my cup of tea. I just, you know, I talk, I talk bad about them, you know, and it's not, it's not because I'm being mean or anything like that. It just, I'd rather the freight lockers, you know, for my preference and everybody have their preferences. I see some really nice internationals and sometimes I look at them, I'm like, oh, they, those are really nice looking trucks. You know what I'm saying? And some angles, and some angles I'd be like, ah, eh. you know, they look like a, uh, <laughs> they look like a, a, a like the front of it looked like a dog or something like that. Like the the, the face of it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they're really good truck. Like when I was driving, it never gave me no issues, honestly. You know what I'm saying? And I think that one I had was an incident when I, when I was looking at the um, you know, at the car car, you can look at the history of service. And the truck I had was it was definitely in some kind of I guess it was in a wreck and they fixed it up, you know what I'm saying? I got mine straight out the shop or something like that. Yeah. But it never gave me no issues. I, ain't ha I only had it for four months. But anywho, that's all. I'm going to end it. I'm going to conclude this video on that. You know what I'm saying? Um, freight liners is my thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, until something else I fall in love with 